better equipped for life when they acknowledge death. During the year that COVID changed life, it also changed death. And the way funerals had to be run by people like Shannon Martin. No, I mean, every other uh, situation I can think of in the 20-some years I've been helping families, nothing's been like this. Martin manages Olinger Crown Hill Mortuary and Cemetery in Wheat Ridge. We had to navigate to how we could still have families gather together in a meaningful way, even though they were restricted with numbers. Restrictions keeping loved ones from having the memorials they wanted. Memorials they needed. He wasn't perfect, but he was close to it. Barbara McCoy married Frank McCoy more than 52 years ago. That's the day we got married and we're with my two sons. It was Barbara's second marriage, this time to an army man who grew up in Denver. He worked at Keeler Company for almost 38 years. She says Frank always smelled like cookies. That was better than any cologne. <laughs> he loved NASCAR racing. He even got to drive a stock car. That was a big moment for him. He, he loved that, 180 miles an hour with no traffic. <laughs> Frank loved the garage. Frank loved his family. Frank loved his wife. I want the whole world to know what a wonderful man he was. <laughs> Sorry. They lived in the same house in North Glen for nearly 50 years, even when he got sick. For the last three and a half years, he had been, every three weeks, he was going for chemo. Even when he got COVID-19. I really thought he was going to make it through, but the next night, he passed away. <laughs> Frank died November 12th. But his funeral had to be delayed a month because Barbara got COVID too and had to grieve while under full quarantine, separated from her family at a time when she needed them the most. It was just really strange being here alone. Um, it's hard. It's really hard. For people to be able to gather together to show support and uh, sympathy to those who have had a loss is really healing for that family. With limited ability to hold a full service, Barbara feels those who died like Frank deserve more. You want to honor that loved one in a really special way, but you can only do so much. I wanted so much to have everyone be there, but I, I didn't want them to be put at risk. It could be as simple or as grand as the family wishes, but just taking for granted that that was even an option. Seeing that taken away in the sense that we know it just made me personally value it that much more. One year later, funerals are different, but the grief remains the same. He's just a wonderful man. My heart goes out to anyone that goes through this. With photojournalist Tom Cole, Nelson Garcia, Nine News.